Mimo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you are right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends when they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> Momo, Rita, Alfred, Talalo, you have to come and see something incredible. Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Momo, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or... I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet! I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful! Welcome to the world, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
Thank you for everything. Yay! 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 We didn't do anything. During a delivery, you don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we can play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> That was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs> uh, pass it to me. Now to me! Now back to me! What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already! to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. Huh? <laughs> Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? <whistles> Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo! We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new! It's raining! I can't believe it! Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Oh. Hey, 
Look at Mr. Tree. He's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees. And they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basket full just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Whoa. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head, and these apples are so good. Um. Mm, mm. What a beautiful day it is today. Look at this flower. It smells wonderful. Hello, little froggy. How are you? Do you want to play with me? Little froggy, don't run away. I want to play with you. Little froggy. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I just want to play with you. Where could it have gone? Little froggy! Little froggy! Are we playing hide and seek? Uh. Olga, Milo, something terrible has happened. What happened? Momo hasn't eaten her afternoon snack. And what's so terrible about that? Momo, never! Miss is eating her afternoon snack. It would be like one morning the sun not coming out. What's more, I've been looking for her for the past three hours and can't find her anywhere. I agree, that is a problem. We need to go and look for her right now. But where will we look for her? We should split up and look in different places. But it would take too long to find her. I think it would be best for all of us to take the train and go look for her all together. What a great idea, Milo. Let's go right now. My friends, today we're taking the train. Everyone ready? Then off we go. Little froggy. If you're still playing hide and seek, forget it because I'm tired now. Who in the world goes in the forest without knowing where to go? I think I'm lost. Now I'll never see my friends again. Poor little me. Hello, little cow. Why are you so sad? I got lost in the forest. I saw you in the garden and wanted to play with you, but you went so fast and I thought you were playing a game. But following you, I got lost. I see. Well, you do have a problem, and it's a big one. I already know that. Do you want me to help you get out of here? And how are we going to do that? We don't know the way home. I already know that, but we can look for it together. That sounds very good to me. Wonderful, a brilliant idea. Is it a game? So where do we start? 
Well, we'll start by walking and... You'll see everything will turn out fine. I'll follow you. Moo Moo! Where are you? Moo Moo! I think I should blow the train whistle so that she knows we're here. I don't think she's around here. Maybe we should go and search somewhere else. You're right, Alfred. We're going, friends. Hold on tight. Moo Moo! Moo Moo! Moo Moo! Maybe she went to live with the sheep and we'll never see her again. Don't say that, Alfred. I'm sure we're going to find Moo. Don't you worry. We've been walking for a long time now, and we haven't seen anything. I think we're almost there. Don't you worry. Can I stay here and sleep with you if we don't find my friend soon? Well, of course you can. Yay! But I hope you like sleeping in the water. Huh? Sleep in the water? I'd rather sleep in a nice dry bed. I'm not an aquatic cow. Frogs usually like being in the water, and sometimes we sleep in it. But there are times when we sleep on land. We'll find a spot for you. Thank you, little froggy. Hmm, it would be nice to find something for dinner. Milo, blow the whistle again. Moo, moo. Moo, moo. Are you here? I don't think she's here either. Well, if she's not here, I don't think we'll find her today. We'd have to sleep out in the open. I think it would be better if we went home. What's that noise? <gasps> that must be my friends who are looking for me. The noise Yay! is coming from over there. Let's hurry up before they leave. Moo -moo. It would be faster if instead of running, mm -hmm. you jump the way I do. Okay. <clears throat> run, little froggy. They're leaving. Uh, you go. You run faster alone. Follow the path and you'll be there right away. Goodbye, little froggy. Thank you. Don't leave me here all alone. Poor Moo Moo, she'll be all by herself tonight. Loneliness, hunger, cold. Wait for me, don't go! Rita! Hey, hold on, hold on, I hear something. <gasps> Rita, thank you for coming to rescue oh, me! You really gave us quite a scare, Moo Moo. I'm so sorry, friends. I'll never go alone into the forest, I promise you. I love you all so much. And we love you, Moo Moo. <laughs> <laughs>